how would you feel about a ban of how would you feel questions on the sub. I would feel pretty good. Remember these obnoxious questions that were really just veiled attempts to tell stories for karma? Reddit did you ever have a time when x, y, z happened? I'll go first. It was a breath of fresh air when those got banned. How would you feel about backslash, insert popular opinion backslash? Semicolon. Yeah I agree with backslash, popular opinion backslash. Semicolon. What a constructive thread. Semicolon. Left square bracket right square bracket. Right now, I'd support the ban. There's too many questions that have an obvious answer like how would you feel if we could treat all diseases and everyone gets a million dollars in their local currency? It's always something super agreeable. Perhaps all the controversial questions like how would you feel if cancer patients battled it out as gladiators and the losers bodies get used for scientific research and you have to pay like way more in taxes to make it happen? Get downvoted into oblivion. I hate how so many questions here are just setups for the same shitty punchline told a million different ways. I think the last one I saw was asking if you'd go without sex for 6 years for a million dollars or something. You could guess the top replies without opening the thread. I'd feel great about it if we also banned all the variants of girls slash guys of reddit. What can I do slash say slash act slash change slash think to increase slash decrease my odds of having sex with you masquerading under 40 different permutations. R slash how well die I'll feel feels abandoned if all those posts move there I'd be a happy man. I don't know how would you feel about it? Asking how would you feel to a bunch of strangers who tend to be more socially awkward, I'm with ya yeah guys 2DW, usually doesn't result in many interesting answers, so agree also the premises are usually so dumb. Or we could make our slash how well die I'll feel about, and send all those questions over there. I'd sooner embrace a ban on your username Amy's questions. Got, what do we get, 20 of them a day. Oh there should be way more banned questions, of all sorts. How would you feel, if Danny DeVito and Keanu Reeves gave you 100 million dollars, but you had to be their best friend for life x d d d d d d Edit, thanks for the gold, wow my biggest reddit post ever. I would feel the irony. Permaban everyone who asks. How would you feel if... Would you take a large sum of money for doing a trivial task like living w slash o internet for a month? What are the most legendary reddit posts? Girls slash dudes of reddit, what does the opposite sex do that they don't know is creepy slash hot? What if popular reddit pandering opinion on politics here was made mandatory? And every other question like that. It'd legitimately make our credit a decent sub again that doesn't get bogged down by awful karma whores and bots. Apathetic. These questions don't bother me nearly as much as the annoying as fuck hypothetical scenario slash writing prompts that are flooding the sub. Can we please bang the your username is how you die, or your username is now your superpower? All of the your username mess. I usually just downvote questions I don't like. People really beat the dead horse with this one, but a good question starts with how would you feel every so often. You've become the very thing you've sworn to destroy. Can we ban the you are offered x number of dollars to accomplish x, y, or z, questions? Great. All of the hypothetical questions are useless and no one is interested in what people answer. They try to think of the most impressive thing to say. Who knows how we would react or feel, or what we would do, or say if it were actually happening in the moment. I'd like the option to block Ask Reddit, and any other subs, not even see them, unless we chose to. Those should be in a sub of their own, maybe r slash how well die I'll feel. If I can tack on the would you do xxx for a million dollars? I'd feel recursive. I just want the what screams x. Questions to disappear for a while. I would love it. People used to ask questions with somewhat interesting answers. Hypothetical stupidity does not interest me which is all this has become. 
Would you be slightly inconvenienced if it took years off your life and you get a billion dollars? Also how would you spend it? Who fucking cares? No one can travel through time in the way needed for these dumb questions to even happen, and no one is giving anyone a billion dollars. Hell I would be blown away to see someone get 10 grand randomly. I hate every person that posts one of these questions and I wish them a long drawn out death. I could really do without those karma fishing depressed people of reddit. How are you feeling today? Hampfests. So corny. If you're depressed, get the help you need. I honestly don't want to read a thread of well, some days are better than others. I'm doing okay today I guess. I actually got out of bed and did something productive, but I know I won't sleep at all tonight and will probably spend all day tomorrow in bed. I'd rather a ban on a Reddit, blah blah blah. Every reply is always not a doctor slash policeman slash grandmother but, like, not every demographic is represented on Reddit, y'all. The top one about Gordon Ramsay and Bob Ross is a literally a circle jerk lol. Please. But then how will I ever find out if Reddit thinks we should require old people to take a test verifying they are still able to drive? Error. Circle reference. While we're at it, let's ban all men slash woman of Reddit. What's the most sex thing you ever sexed before? Type questions. I would also love a ban of can we take a moment to or can we take some time? Post everywhere on Reddit. It's happening way too damn often. If you were offered 10 billion dollar dollars, but would have to give up posting how would you feel? Posts, would you be able to do it? I would feel pretty good. Remember these obnoxious questions that were really just veiled attempts to tell stories for karma? Rudy did you ever have a time when X, Y, Z happened? I'll go first. It was a breath of fresh air when those got banned. How would you feel about backslash, insert popular opinion backslash, semicolon. Yeah I agree with backslash, popular opinion backslash, semicolon. What a constructive thread. Semicolon. Left square bracket right square bracket. Right now, I'd support the ban. There's too many questions that have an obvious answer like how would you feel if we could treat all diseases and everyone gets a million dollars in their local currency? It's always something super agreeable. Perhaps all the controversial questions like how would you feel if cancer patients battled it out as gladiators and the losers bodies get used for scientific research and you have to pay like way more in taxes to make it happen? Get downvoted into oblivion. I hate how so many questions here are just setups for the same shitty punchline told a million different ways. I think the last one I saw was asking if you'd go without sex for 6 years for a million dollars or something. You could guess the top replies without opening the thread. I'd feel great about it if we also banned all the variants of girls slash guys of reddit. What can I do slash say slash act slash change slash think to increase slash decrease my odds of having sex with you masquerading under 40 different permutations.